The modern world we live in has been a result of a tremendous change in the way we think, the way we live, and the way we embrace our lives. The role of management skills in creating this paradigm shift is simply magnificent. From honing leadership skills to acquiring the power of networking, management education encompasses everything that is needed to prepare an individual to face the widely competitive and volatile global business environment. And in a country like India, it is particularly more evident. Welcome to Institute of Management Technology, a group of leading management institutes that contribute to the development of business and society through excellence in grooming business leadership, entrepreneurial talent and research. Established in 1980 at Ghaziabad by leading industrialist Lead Shri Mahindranath, IMT has been a leading center for management excellence and has been consistently ranked as one of the top 10 business schools of India. IMT Nagpur is the second campus established in the year 2004 with the vision to lead the future through continuous innovation and dynamic aspirations and foresight. The foundation of IMT Nagpur is firmly based on the concept of creating a center for corporate excellence and this has been the driving force behind the successful journey of IMT Nagpur. We spoke to the officiating director, Dr. Ranjit Goswami. Fundamental changes are happening in the business school scenario globally. Uh, business schools have been trying to reinvent themselves. We need to find out what value we are providing to the corporate world who employs from us. We need to find out what type of ethics and values we provide in our students when the globally business are coming under more scrutiny from ethical lapses. IMT Nagpur campus is located at a distance of 35 kilometers from the zero milestone, the geographical center of India. Uh, the campus looks physically beautiful with all modern infrastructure. Uh, more than 700 students in the campus shaping up their careers, their thinking, so that they become future responsible citizens and corporate world leaders. Being located at the center of India, IMT Nagpur prides itself with a culturally and socially diverse, colorful and vibrant student's life at its campus. IMT Nagpur believes in continuous innovation of the curriculum design, delivery and pedagogy. This has led us to a new hallmark in the arena of Indian business education. The focus area of ours has been on the pedagogy. As we see the businesses globally have been reshaping with globalization, digitization and deregulations, we try to tell our students not how to memorize from textbook alone, but how to think critically from the things that is happening around them. The institution has adopted an innovative teaching methodology wherein there has been a rare synthesis of conceptual understanding with practical business experience imparted to the student managers. Basically the curriculum is a mix of theory as well as practical and uh, we have a case-based approach wherein our lectures are not just uh, monologues being delivered from the faculty but uh, they expect the entire class to interact and uh, provide their insights into that particular topic. Our classroom pedagogy is in a manner in which we ensure that there is a lot of industry exposure. Say for example, out of the 20 sessions that are allocated for a subject, two sessions are for the guest lectures. That is, ensuring that a student has a holistic growth, not only just academic wise. Dr. Jagannath Mohanty tells us more. Case exposes its readers uh, to multiple problems perspectives and elicits uh, analysis and solutions to be used later when confronted with such problems. Therefore, uh, CASE is actually uh, a tool to bridge the gap between the practice and the theory, the abstract and its application. At IMT Nagpur, a uh, CASE method of teaching uh, has been a dominant instructional method over the years. In fact, in the last one year, IMT Nagpur faculty have used over 300 case studies uh, from Harvard. Located on a sprawling 27-acre campus, IMT Nagpur provides world-class infrastructure that embraces the academic vitality of the institute. Learning Resource Center or LRC 
is the library of IMT Nagpur and has the finest collection of books, journals, e-journals, corporate and industry information and international and national research databases. The meticulously designed IT infrastructure provides the students with 24 bar 7 internet connectivity at any place within the campus. The classrooms are spacious, air-conditioned and are equipped with latest audio-visual equipment. Dr. Harsha Vardhan Halvi shares his view. IMT Nagpur is found of innovations and best practices for their students. One of the latest example of that is bringing Bloomberg on the campus. It's a live terminal where all financial data is visible and even student can create virtual companies, can invest into uh, the companies and can practice investment banking uh, concepts taught to them in different courses. IMT Nagpur has introduced a course on business analytics thereby negating the prevailing mismatch between skills that are produced by business schools and that are required by the industries and market. Big data is what is currently being talked about in the corporate world. The concept of business analytics means you have a huge data available which can be actually converted into some sense to your business and then taken some decisions on it. IMT Nagpur has tie up with IBM to bring the latest tools of business analytics like Cognos and SPSS to have predictive analysis, analytics and descriptive analytics. Collaborative learning is an integral part of IMT Nagpur's academia and students are encouraged to learn from their own practical day-to-day -day activities which can contribute to the well-being of the campus and the society as a whole. The students' groups lead the institution's collaboration with alumni, industry, social organizations and international institutions for sustainable development. The entire approach here is student-driven approach and the students are given priority here. Right from the moment a student enters a college and becomes a part of it, he is addressed as a student manager. So that's the kind of onus which is given to a student, he realizes his responsibility right from the day he is in the college. Then students are given an opportunity to take initiatives right from day one. Be it any committee, be it any forum, it's all student driven. Various forums in marketing, finance, HR and information technology organize numerous workshops and competitions that keep the students engaged in the backdrop of the competitive nature of modern economy and business. IMT Nagpur has centers of excellence, namely Center for Business Intelligence and Knowledge Management, Center for Corporate Governance, Center for Case Study and Research, Center for Entrepreneurship Development, Center for Financial and Economics Research, Center for Supply Chain Management, Center for Sustainable Development. The Center for Corporate Governance strives to educate and spread the essence and virtue of CSR amongst the stakeholders of the society. We spoke to Professor Shivnath Sinha. Under Center for Corporate Governance, we do a lot of CSR initiatives. Basically, all these CSR initiatives are, are driven solely by the student managers under the guidance and mentorship of the faculty. Both first year and second year students are involved in it. And basically the idea of all these CSR initiatives to appraise the student managers on the broad areas of corporate social responsibility, ethics and governance. Every year annual alumni meet, Melange facilitates interaction of the present students with the alumni in the campus. Whereas the chapter meets organized in Bangalore, Delhi, Mumbai and Hyderabad facilitate such interaction contributing to knowledge enrichment of the students. Professor S. Anand Ram shares his view. We have a gold mine of alumni holding responsible positions in the corporate. They provide us solid support in our endeavor to craft industry ready products, be it campus visits, interactions, guest lectures or providing critical inputs for developing a robust curriculum, they are always there with us. I can definitely say that our key strength is our alumni 
network. Within a decade of its establishment, IMT Nagpur has quickly made its visible presence in the corporate world. With a placement committee currently headed by Professor T.K. Chatterjee and driven by an organized students' force. This is a complete, absolutely residential campus that we have where students are 24 7 with us for two years. And there are several forums that are student driven, you know, absolutely student driven, including initiatives like, you know, some cooperative shop being run by students. Our different functions here are absolutely student driven, including placement. Why not? We have got very, very, you know, active placement committee here which are you know which comprises of students so yes there are not only students here being exposed to different political concepts by we faculty they themselves are you know managing a lot of things which actually make them absolutely corporate ready we have achieved uh, success in bringing in companies from almost all the sectors of the industry talk about fmcg durables automobile cement steel paint etc a few companies from the list of regular recruiters at IMT Nagpur include Adani, Asian Paints, Bajaj Alliance General Insurance, Bajaj Auto Finance Limited, Bharat Forge, Capital IQ, Crystal Limited, HDFC Bank, Everready Limited, LNT Hydrocarbon, Trident, Maruti Suzuki, Toyota Kirloska Auto Parts, Samsung. Godrej Properties Limited and IDEA. IMT Nagpur provides its management education impartment not only to the young budding managers but also to working and experienced professionals through Management Development Program MDP. We spoke to Professor Ravindra M. Gadgil. What we try to do is to train corporate managers from executive level to senior level on different needs that corporations have as part of their ongoing training of their own people. It serves the interests of corporations, it serves the self-growth and betterment of faculty itself. Also, it helps our students get a better exposure about how it works in the real world so that when they go out of this program, after finishing their PGDM, they are as corporate ready as one can make them in a base form. The client list includes NTPC, Adani Power Maharashtra Limited, Sale, Bilai and Rorkela Steel Plant, the GMR Group and the Geological Survey of India amongst others. We also spoke to Professor Joseph Yusur who was at IMT Nagpur to deliver a series of sessions on decision-making. He shares his experience at IMT Nagpur. I found the, the Indian students here at IMT very kind and interesting to get more knowledge. But what struck me most was their friendship. Very kind people, students of management, of business. I think they have to take risks maybe have their own companies and not settle for the average but go for the top. The extracurricular activity at IMT Nagpur reflects its true identity as a center of academic excellence. Students Cooperative Store Prayatna, Cultural Committee Ovia, Assorted Sports Activities like Golf, Badminton, Volleyball, Football, and basketball form the heart that regulates the lifeline of IMT Nagpur. Milestone 35, the national flagship event is completely driven by students and every year it attracts hundreds of participants from the finest B schools across India. In a rapidly changing business world, IMT Nagpur has been successfully reinventing itself by undergoing continuous transformation with the pace of time. Our goal is distinct and clear. We nurture future leaders. We plant the seeds that are inherently capable of producing leaders who are capable of creating new hallmarks in the world of business, economy and society. We welcome you to experience IMT Nagpur, a home away from home.